ladybugs Yolander again to show you a tutorial on this little guy that goes in my industrial journal. So let me just put it aside. All I did here, so simple. I mean, I'm going to use this because it's, you know, lying around, or maybe I should use a color. Let me just quickly, because I've got lots of spares. Okay, I'm going to use this one as well. So, what I did, I start with my index card. And I'm just going to glue some dictionary paper on it. I'm doing loads and loads of tutorials today. I'm trying to squeeze in as many as I can before the weekend. So I'm just gonna put that here. That is one page, yeah. And then I am gonna turn it over. And just cut off the excess. You can also tear it off with a ruler, you know. Let's put that to the side. Just trim a bit more here. And then, as per usual, oh, where's my top for this before it dries? Uh oh, let me take off this one as well at the top. very quickly do the edges this is such a lovely blue I love it to bits so all we're going to do here is checking what I did you know I've got to remember these things <laughs> I really like this blue so I'm gonna put like so you know me that is high measure I'm gonna cut that and then I'm going to cut it I want to leave quite a bit of the oh there I've already marked it oh my goodness my mind That looks great. Once again, you know the usual. Oh, you know what I did here? It's better to do this with cardstock that has a white core in it. But anyway, all I did, so it doesn't work as well with this. But anyway, I'm just going to use, you know, a normal nail file all the way around. See, if it had the white core, the white would be showing through. So all I'm doing basically is roughing it up. And then, so that's that piece. I'm just going to give my paint to pass quickly. So here's my little paint basket. It's got the ones that I use, you know, more, more often than the others. And now I'm just gonna literally play around with this a bit. I hope I've filed it enough. My files are a bit too smooth. I need to go and buy a new one. Okay, so now I'm gonna put I started off with a white dabber and I also did use a paintbrush just like so, not too much 
Oh, it's a bit of a piece of tissue, I think. Yeah, you just... All around the edge. I mean, you can just use white acrylic paint. This is just what I have. And you don't want to get too serious about it. So we'll just put it at that. Let me take this off. Put that back. Just want to let it dry. Just getting my hair dryer for two seconds. Let's put that down there. And because I'm going to play a little bit, I think I'm going to add some of this one. Or maybe the, oh, no, I like this one. It's also shabby shutters. Let's give it a shakety shake. Yeah. Why not? I like that, see? Let's rub it on. And you can do this obviously in any color you want. I just really like that. Just a little bit. And then just a quick dry. And then let's grunge it up. run a little bit in here. How's that? And all I'm going to do, is this not sticking down there? Yeah, it is. I'm just going to stick this on here. to get a drink from the kitchen and I left it there didn't I how smart is that so the whole thing goes down oops let's put it in the middle uh -oh. Oh, oh, there we go. again easy stuff to make you know I'm all for the easy stuff. So now we're just going to make this is just not a very big pocket or I suppose we could make it. I'm just wondering. No, I'm not going to. Let's just stick to you. <laughs> I always want to do something different. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's put that there. Again, I'm just going to measure like so. And like so. Let's cut that off. should fit perfectly there so we're just going to do exactly the same thing with my um, dabber let's put these out again let's paint around uh, oh, okay I've still got to do that but that's fine let's just do this piece that's kind of left over is going to go on here. Once again I am just going to measure with my and cut. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to glue that on the top.
like so. I didn't even bother, as you can see, with this thing. Um, it does rough it up a bit, which I quite like, but stick that down and let's do the same thing. If there's any here, I don't even need to dip it again. And a little bit of this gorgeous shabby shutters green it's really and quite nice and down this side that should be fine it's really not a lot that you have to do once again Let's go and distress the edges. And glue it on. A thin line. Because you want a thin line. Because you know, it's not a very big pocket. I just like to smooth it out and I go sort of outward so the glue doesn't come in and make the pocket too tight. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh gosh. Yep, I did it again. You know what? I'm, I'm going to leave it. Why change it? So what I'm going to do... I mean, who says it has to be exactly the same? I'm going to have to re-glue it now. And down the three sides. change it. I mean I suppose I could cut another one and do it properly but you know what it is done. So who says I can't do something like that a little bit different? Why not? Hmm. So that way it's not exactly the same. Stick that down there. Let's do the white bit. Going over the edge, I think. Yeah, I like that. A little bit on the top will not go in this. Just a tiny bit here yeah, more. Okay. Let's put this back on here and set it in my mouth, huh? And where is my. Uh, there it is. You know, it's one of these dabber things, which I find they go dry actually very quickly. Kind of sucks. But there it is. Let's put this piece on the top. Same thing with the paintbrush. 
And I think I need a bit more there. Simple, easy. A bit more of a dab, 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 dab. <laughs> I like it. And then, of course, I just want to dry it before I distress it. I think that's looking quite nice. And let's just put a little bit more. See, it just adds that. I don't know what you want to call it. And then. On this as well, I, I did use some of the edge brass and, and that's just on the edges. It's just a faint bit of, come on, there we go, yeah, that's better, that's kind of what I wanted, yeah, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on there, that's all I'm going to do, let's put that away, put that over there, put my paint basket aside and there you have that so far. Now we are going to make, you see here I put this, I left it blank for um, writing on or journaling on there. So let me find a piece of paper that I can add there and I'm just going to chair. put that there and then let's add oops I think we can make that a bit bigger let's put that down oh I'm trying to take the lid off and the lid is with my teeth and the lid is already off <laughs> what can I say I'm going to add a little bit of this one too from the kit. Like that. Let's just put that there. And then we can add this little piece. Yeah, just a saying, whatever, a sentiment, a thought of the day. <laughs> Quick thought of the day since it's a small piece. <laughs> Just put that to one side. Easy capizzi, a little bit of. I'm gonna oof, bring out my Mia. Oh, I like that. I like that. Here we go. Might as well put that back. And then, why not? I think that looks nice. Let's just put that there. I don't mind it sticking out of it. It's fine. 
Can you see that so far? Very simple. Oh, that's lifting there. Let's put a tad more glue. Normally, I would coffee dye these, but I have run out of them. I'll have to do probably a whole lot this weekend. And I'm just going to... I think it needs a sh sh bit more... Yeah. Darkness there. And this little... <laughs> All I'm going to do again, I'm just going to use my cardstock and sort of let me bring that into the camera. I'll give you the measurements if you want, but I mean, you know, it's um, it's there. Actually, I'm just going to fold it in half. So let me just cut that. It's more or less, wait, let me do it this way there, to there, and then I'm going to measure again. <laughs> there we go. So we have that. And now we are just going to fold it to about here. If you want the measurements for this, I will give it to you. Like I said, the index card, you know, it's just its own size. It really doesn't matter. Yep, six. The index card by four. So this little folder here that I'm making, it happens to be little, almost three and a half by two and one eighth. Again, you know, the size is not... Uh, doesn't have, you don't have to get too serious about that. Now all I did here just use your ruler, a, a little ruler to draw a line. I think that's about fine there. Okay. Now I am just going to cut it right on the line. off there. That should be fine. And I'm just going to round it. And then you got your little index card. And um, you can round the corner with a punch. I'm going to use the smallest one. There we go. <laughs> and there's your little index card. And once again, You can either keep that square or you can round it like this one is rounded. I'm going to leave this one square. And what I'm going to do here. Here and I'm just going to do on the inside because you know you see that part there. This is cute or white? It's so cute. Um, okay, so now let's look for a piece of paper again. Something to stick on there. I'm going to use this. goes or oh, you know what I could even use look it says per letter there what if I use that I like that I'm just gonna try and tear it a bit here okay I like that 